Takashi, and here is episode 3 of the San Jose Sharks franchise mode series. First thing we will be doing is the draft, plus I will also do free agency and try and re-sign some players. So I'm picking 6th in the second round, so I'm just going to send you that pick. Let's see what happened first. 81 overall, medium elite goes first. And 78, 75, going Byron. No insane franchise guy, not a ton of medium elites. Avalanche got a good pick there. That might, medium top 9 is not what you want for a first round pick. But let's see what is available. I believe there was a low elite guy. Hmm. A lot of unknowns. Yeah. Karel Prokop. He's a low elite gem. Right winger. A shooting. All their stats are B's, B minuses. Strengths, goal scoring, pro release, hard wrist shot with no weaknesses. I'm definitely going to take him. 69, low elite. That's pretty good. I will take that all day. Now, third round pick. I don't think I have a ton of picks in this draft. But, that was a good start. These guys might be medium elite. But low elite. Likely low elite. Um, nothing much is guaranteed. So I'm going to risk it and go for one of these medium elite guys. Kirill Chistov. Left winger. Yeah, we don't, we don't know, but there's a chance, so I'm going to go for it. And medium top six, that's actually pretty good. Only a 48 overall. But medium top six forward is good. Oh, there's that Anisimov guy. He was low elite. Let's see. What do we got? We got Cole Stewart. Could be medium elite. And this goalie. Tommy Salio. Could be medium elite. I'm going to take Cole Stewart, I think. B minus shooting. Yeah, let's just go for it. Medium bottom six, that's not great. Um, I'm trying to remember if I have any other picks in this draft, because I'd like to try and get that goalie. I might yes I do. Good for him pick. And let's see here. Can we get a medium elite goalie? That would be great. Supposed to be good. C minus E, C. Usually goalies aren't that high of overall. And he's medium fringe starter. Not good at all. I do have a seventh round pick. Um, so I might just take an unknown guy. Because we really have no idea what any of these. This guy's a goalie. This guy might be low elite. Yeah, I'm just going to try to take another goalie. Why not? Medium backup. Not great, but at least he has the potential to be in the NHL. But I got a low elite, medium, top six. Only had five picks that draft, so that's not bad. And now, the important part. I will do that later. We gotta re-sign Eric Carlson, Joe Pavelski, Timo Meyer. There's a lot of big names. But luckily, these guys want extensions. That is a lot of money for one player. Down the road, that could end up being a good deal. Don't want eight. He wants six. I'm gonna try six years at nine million. So yeah. 
Six years at nine million for Eric Carlson. Joe Pavelski is up to an eighty nine point six million dollars. I'd rather give him another one year deal at five million. I'll go five point two. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford everyone. His team of liar. He didn't grow. So I'm just gonna qualify him for now and see what these other guys do. Joe Thornton. It's a lot for a third line hit center. Nyquist. I, hmm, that's yeah, that's way too much for Nyquist. I don't think I'm gonna resign him. Oh, the bank. Could grow more. That is. Hmm. It's gonna be really hard to resign all these guys. Don Scoy. Um, Wilson Ryan will qualify. Wood, I will qualify. He's growing. Mirko doesn't want to resign, so I'm not gonna overpay for him. I'll qualify. Good grow. Matthias, I don't know if I'll need. Sorensen has gotten way worse, and I'm just gonna let him go. Um, medium top nine. I'll qualify. Tim Heed is dropped off a cliff. Um, just gonna qualify a bunch of these guys. Okay, I don't need you. Yeah. Need medium top nine, so I'll qualify. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna have any money. I'm just gonna let this guy go. Let's see what Carlson and Popolski say. I'm gonna have to get them better. Okay, good. Popolski. Steps. Carlson rejects though. Yeah, I need to resign Carlson even if I just end up trading him. Can't let that value just walk away. We'll try 9.3 million for six years. It's good I got Pavelski. I definitely want Timo Meyer. If I wait, I might be able to get him on a one-year deal for cheap, which might be the thing to do. I think I'm, I am going to re-sign Joe Thornton. He's like, when you think of the Sharks, you think of Joe Thornton. 3.25 million for one year. I hope he takes that. Nyquist, I'm not signing yet. I do want Don Skoy back. 80 overall. He's done growing. What's less money on a one year deal? We'll go one year, 1.9. I think that's fair. Okay. Let's see what these guys have to say. I hope Carlson accepts. Thornton rejects. Carlson does accept, that's good. Don Skoy rejects. Hmm. Oh, it's, I can always wait till free agency too. It could be a problem keeping Meyer if someone offer sheets him, but I'm gonna take that risk. Yeah, because we have six million dollars left to spend. Yeah, I'm not giving Thornton two years. I really don't want to give him much more money. I almost gave him two years. Uh, Nyquist. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford Nyquist. This is too much money for an 83 overall player. Um, Don Skoy for 2 million maybe? Sorensen, I'm just going to release. Bias. Yeah, I'm probably just not gonna sign him. Tim Heed. And 
can qualify these guys. These guys mini mines, I can qualify them. I just wish I had more money to spend. I'll get that down the road. Right. Thornton still rejects. Don Squid rejects. You know, I think I'm just going to send a free agency. I might be able to get cheaper options there. Yeah, okay. All these guys I qualified, except... Oh, I had to renew that. That's whatever. Okay. Let's see what we got for free agents. Braden Point. That would be nice, but I don't know. I feel like that's so much for an 83. Ooh, someone's interested in Timo Maya. That's not good. No one wants Panarin yet, so that's definitely a possibility. How much money do I have? Not enough for him. That is not a possibility. I lie. I see Flabrowski's here. He is. Whoa. Yeah, I think I'm going to trade Jones and sign Bobrovsky. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's time to trade Martin Jones. He's making $5 million. I'll see what else. I believe Melker Carlson was making $2 million. I think I'll package him in there too. Let's see. Melker Carlson, that's too much for a 78 overall. So, Martin Jones. On his way out of San Jose. 86, making 5.7 million. It's just, that's too much for him. Anyone want Martin Jones? Buffalo, Calgary, Carolina. If I get Carolina's first round pick. Plus some depth guys. Carolina, they're listed as a rebuilder. I think that would go through. Let's see what else they got. Um, any solid depth forwards would be great. Um, let's see. Nothing amazing. I would definitely take Brock McGinn, 78, that's 900,000. Let's see, anything else? I think I'm going to stick with the decor that I have. It's decent enough. I don't have that many like good depth forwards. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get more draft picks then. Let's see if I can get their second as well. They wanna get rid of that. First, second, and again for Jones and Carlson. Let's see. I had a feeling I was gonna be rejected. I think the second was asking for a little too much. Let's try two thirds. I don't think they'll take that. Just a touch. I'll take the third out. I'll add in a fourth and a seventh. I think they'll take this. Trade accepted. Now I have to sign Sergei Paparovsky. This would be a disaster if I failed at signing him. But I think that's a risk worth taking for sure. Goalie, let's get him. He only wants 7.4 million. I don't really want to give him that many years, but I'll just Trade him if his value goes down. Try right, seven years at seven million. Sweet. Hopefully he takes that. And now I'm gonna look at some depth forward options. Joe Thornton. I want Joe Thornton, but he's just not worth that. Not open. I do want Don Squid back. 
I need more money. <laughs> Some of these guys might end up being like, okay, so Claire wants, he's an 80 and he can actually grow. I think I'm gonna go for Anthony Duclair here. Let's see, two year deal. Two year deal, 1.75 for an 80. I'll do that for sure. Riley Shahan. I would definitely use Riley Shahan. That's the same. 79, um, looks like two years at 1.65. And let's see, I need to get Bobrovsky at all costs at this point. Uh, no, thank you. And then when it comes to trade deadline, I'll see where we're at. Oh, that sucks. Duclair goes to the Avalanche. Shahan accepts. I do not need a Nisimo. Okay, Bob, please sign. Rejected. But he didn't sign anywhere else. I'm just going to give him what he wants. I was just seeing if I could get him for cheap because no other teams were interested. Uh, let's see. But now there's someone interested. So 7 years, 7.5. Let's see. I could use another depth forward for sure. Barton. Hopefully he stays up there and ends up wanting way less money. Let's see. I'm going to try and get John Square back here. One year at 2.1 million. And let's see if either of them will sign now. Oh. I hope I didn't just accept that. I didn't even see what the offer was. Bobrovsky accepts. Perfect. We have an elite goaltender now. I'm assuming that's Bobrovsky that wants to meet. No, it's Riley Shahan. Um, calming approach. He doesn't care. I'll take that. Alright. I'm going to see what I have for forwards now because I'm. Forwards are not going to be looking great, but with the defense that I have in front of Fabrovsky, that should be amazing. I also need to save money to sign Timo Meyer. Let's see. Let's do this by overalls. 90, 89, 89. The bank is still an RFA. I can wait on him. Shahan Goudreau still has, I think he'll end up taking that qualifying. Okay, let's see. Three. Yeah, I need, I need three depth forwards then. Hmm. The offense shouldn't be as good as it was last year, but the defense will stay the same. The goaltending should be significantly better. Panarin wants less money now. Definitely, definitely still can't afford him though, unfortunately. I might just sign him with the 79s. Let's see. It's all these guys, like... I don't know. John Square wants less money than he did. 2.0. I don't remember what I offered him before. I might have offered him more, but I'm just going to go with that. Who wants to be a bargain? I lost no sec. Oh, I'll get no sec. 1.65 million. And the other cheap 78. Oh, these guys. Carl Hagelin, that's actually a pretty good deal for him, I think. And he's cheap on a one year deal. One point, okay. Now let's see what those guys have to say. This is all I really need at this point, and then we'll wait and see what happens with Timo Meyer. Okay, good, I did decline that last trade. Okay, 
And I'm going to decline this trade as well. FMO Bank, one year, 2.5 million. If I let him go, I get a second round pay. I'm going to have remind me in six days because if these other guys sign, that's not as big of a deal. But I would definitely like to keep a bank. Let's see what these other guys have. Haglin accepts. Don Skoy is on his way to Nashville. He's looking for a team that's a playoff contender. Because we're not a playoff contender, I guess. He's about one of the best goalies in the league. No sec accepts. Alright. I'm just going to keep advancing. I'm going to re-sign. Uh, LeBanc at 2.5 million. Maybe a little expensive, but... Oh, I don't have the cap space. I lied. I'm taking the second round pick. Buffalo second round pick could be a high pick. Now I'm gonna check what I have for forwards. See if I see what I need. Forwards. Sure. I'm gonna have to make a trade if Meyer gets offered something. Gotta sort by overalls again. My top line, Couture is up to a 90, Kane an 89, and Pavelski is also an 89. That's insane. Yeah, I def I even need like a second line winger. But there's, that's, I have a decent third line. I still think Goodrow will accept. I still need one more depth forward. But I'm going to wait and sign that. Because I'm going to have to still give Timo Meyer some money. So I'm just going to go ahead and click send to next season. No, don't need Komarov. Don't need Suster. No, thank you. It's going to be me rejecting a bunch of trades. Alright, that guy resigns. Ooh. That is unfortunate. I cannot afford that. I'm going to have to trade somebody. But I do, I would get a Detroit first round pick, which could be really high. And then I can always use that pick to make a trade at the trade deadline. But that's not a bad contract for Meyer. Remind me in six days, I'm going to try and make a trade here. I'll see what I can do. Just dump some money. I don't think I have any money to dump, though. Um, maybe Brendan Dillon, but even then, I don't know if I can afford him. He's an 82 playing on the third pairing. Yeah, that's really it. Always. Hmm. I'm just gonna take the compensation. Unfortunately, that kind of sucks. But there's just, I can't afford that. Timo Meyer is on his way to the Detroit Red Wings. But Red Wings first round pick. That will hopefully be a really good pick and time to go back into free agency let's see who else is there for forwards Braden Point is still there I don't think the Lightning can afford to sign him Derek Broussard looks like Thornton's gone that's kind of sad but what are you gonna do Yanni Gord wouldn't be a bad signing I really do need a second liner. So Derek Broussard is not a bad option. So I think I'm going to try and sign Derek Broussard. I only have $2.4 million though. But I'm going to offer him that and hope. I don't think he's going to take that. Curious to see what happens with Brain Point, though. Yeah. I'm 
definitely gonna have to make some trades. It's tough when you don't have much money. Yep, I know. I just want to get to the preseason because then if Brain Point still hasn't resigned, I might be able to get a cheap one-year deal. And that would be amazing. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible or not. Hopefully, it is possible. Alright. Good. Barclay Goodfield does end up accepting. I figured he would. And let's see. I do not care about owner goals. I'm scared to hit the forward lines. I know it's not good. Let's see if Rain Point is still here. He is. Can I get him on a cheap one year deal? Ooh. Um. 4.3 million. I don't for Burakovsky here. Oh, wow. That's, that's. That would be a good deal for me. I want point, but this Burakovsky deal just makes a lot of sense. He only wants 1.9 million. I'll give him. Yeah, I'll just give him what he wants. That's barely anything. This year's third, that's fine for that. And if all these guys left, I might be able to get really cheap. Andrew Cox on the field. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a follow here too. 1.5 for 1.5 million for an 81. Messed up there. Let's just see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I can't afford it. I, I follow. But I hopefully have Burakovsky. Cool, I do have Burakovsky. Alright, I'm gonna check the lines now. It'd be great if Point was still there, like part way through the season, because then he might sign for nothing. Best line. Let's see, it must have put Burakovsky in the minors. That forward group did not look good though, which is kind of scary. Burakovsky will help out a lot. I might just have to play the season with a bad fourth line. Let's see, best lines. Yeah, that forward group's not looking good at all. First line's solid. But that's, it drops off a cliff with Hurdle, but that's it. The defense is... Braun has gone down. Wood is in, that's okay. But I think Bobrovsky will just help out tremendously. So, next episode, I'm gonna just start the season. We'll see where it goes. I'll probably end up trading some more depth forwards. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.